Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Sean. And I'm Angela Colensis. And today we're going to talk about brain injuries and we're going to talk about... Well, some people don't feel like they fit into the brain injury community because they have brain injury symptoms or conditions that, yep. that are, are almost indirect. Correct. Yeah. Um, so what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? This actually comes from a client that a, or a community member that I met this week who is a long-term epilepsy patient. Um, she's had epilepsy for over 50 years now and as a result has a brain injury. Mm -hmm. um, and she was finding it really hard to come to accept, I suppose, well, it's epilepsy. Well, no, the short-term memory, the dizziness, the imbalance, that's all caused from the epilepsy, but it's now a brain injury. And that would be because like when you have an, ep when you have an epileptic seizure, um, the neurons, the neuroplasticity, all the little things that fire in the brain kind of short circuit. And some of them actually, um, die as a result of constant seizures so um, we know about traumatic brain injury and that's pretty you know the accidents assaults yep. those kind of things but when we start talking about um, brain injuries as a result of medical conditions yes. is that more what you were after yes okay yes. the ones that aren't as direct be clear correct yeah. okay so there's a few different things with this one. Um, okay, repeated concussions, and this is something that sports people uh, yes. end up with a fair bit. Um, well, it's come, there's a lot more research going into it now. So repeated concussions, and I've written sheet notes, so give me a minute, um, lead to what they call chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Mm-hmm, big word. Big word. So basically, it's the constant, lots of lo lots of little impacts mm -hmm. making a big impact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's one uh, stroke. The results that what's quite often left behind after a stroke: the inability to talk, the paralysis mm -hmm. on one side, mm -hmm. um, the constant headaches. Again, the dizziness, the imbalances. That's a brain injury. Mm -hmm. Um, there are degenerative conditions, um, and the example that I've got here, dementia, Parkinson's, Huntington's, mm -hmm. brain injury. Um, then you have age-related brain injuries, um, anoxic or hypoxic brain injury, which is basically a lack of oxygen to the brain. So that could be as a result of near drowning. Oh, or birth. Birth. Birth, yes. yes. Near drowning, yep. yeah. Uh, brain mm. tumours and brain cancer. Um, mm. You know, people go through treatments or have tumours cut out. Well, a lot of time there is mm. brain injury left behind. So do you think that um, a lot of people don't seek out the support because they don't really realise, uh, well, A, that they have an actual brain injury or, or the, because they only just look at the symptoms? Yep. Yeah. And they'll, they'll say things like... Um, I actually heard this not too long ago, you know, so-and-so had a brain tumour um, and it was successful, they cut the tumour out. <sighs> He's not the same, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have a brain tumour anymore, so I don't understand what's wrong with him. Ah, uh ha, -huh. yeah, yeah. When yep. I kind of looked at this person and went, knock, 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 knock. He's not the same. Why is he not the same? So, so mean, the act of surgery and removal of a tumour. Well, it makes sense, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't all happen like the way it does in Grey's Anatomy. No, no. You know, yeah. it's, um, there's, in this, I'm stealing from the facts. The Bible. Like the Bible at the moment, <laughs> put out by Synapse Australia. Um, they actually talk about, in their book, um, uh, encephalitis meningitis. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this is from infections and disease, brain correct. injury. Correct, yeah. yeah. So, brain abscesses, um, meningococcal, pneumococcal, um, E. coli. Hydrocephalus. Yeah. yeah. These are all things that 
yeah. affect and create and can cause a brain injury. Fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and that is would also be from children, you know, born from parents who were drinking alcohol or doing drugs whilst, you know, pregnant. It's interesting um, that they, they focus on the alcohol, but they don't mention the drugs so much. Um, yeah. I think that would be because there has been such a huge increase of... Um, there is, there's a, like there has been a huge increase of births with fetal alcohol uh -huh. spectrum disorder, um, which is really quite sad. Um, domestic and family violence, mm -hmm. and then it has its own heading, alcohol and other drug-related mm. brain injury. So alcohol related, so the brain damage from high quantities of alcohol consumption, consumption yep. as well as potentially the accidents caused, Yep. like our friend yep. Martin, yep. Martin yep. Who, um, excessive drinking over shorter periods, mm. so binge drinking yes. um, can lead to um, brain injury. Um, the drug use, when you think about what actually happens in your brain when you take a synthetic drug. Mm -hmm. You know, it's created by bits of the brain being short-circuited and mm. that over time will create a brain injury. Mm. So it's not necessarily the kid that takes um, a, a drug at a festival and ends up with a brain injury and he's, you know, in a coma and all these horrible things that we hear happening. So constant use Repeated. of a drug yeah. every you know, every weekend we'll go and take this drug and get high and enjoy ourselves. Well, long term or even short term repeated use of, of, of the drug yeah. can actually cause a brain injury as well. Yes. So we talk about yes. binge drinking or drug use, social too. drug use. You know, yeah. all these things. If it messes with the brain. Doesn't it make sense that it'll give you a brain injury? Mm. Mm. So yeah, absolutely. You know, it's um, so there's a lot of people out there who will talk to and they'll say, "Oh yeah, I'm really forgetful now," or mm -hmm. um, you know, oh, "My balance isn't as great," or you know, "Oh god, you know, the dizziness, the uh, I can't sleep," or "I get all I do is sleep." Um, all those things that happen, you know, they're, and as we were talking about the, the medical reasons that you can get a brain injury, yep. Yep. they're all very real. Um, like Absolutely. talking to this lady this week was really interesting for me because she kept referring to, oh, I have epilepsy, I have epilepsy. And it's like, well, yeah, I really had to break it to you, but um, you also have a brain injury. I mean, I said, I'm no medico. Yeah. I don't have letters after my yeah. name yeah. and all of that just kind of makes sense, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And then when you read things like the facts from Synapse, they actually have a whole section dedicated to things like dementia and stroke. And when it yeah. comes to stroke and epilepsy and things like that, you know, it, it all adds up. Yeah. It all adds up. It all adds up. So... Yeah, that's a quick little eight minute <laughs> snapshot. <laughs> yeah. Snapshot of what can cause a brain injury. Have mm -hmm. I You certainly have, thank you. Am I am I okay? There's no other questions? No. See, no. This is she Oh, I did have one more question. There you go. How long the girl that you met, when did she start ha having epilepsy? Was it from birth or fifteen? Oh, so she started at fifteen and do, does she know why? At fifteen? No. I mean, no, there's lots there's of reasons no why reason. epilepsy can yeah, start. Ep epilepsy, yep. epilepsy. Yep. It's okay. Yeah, um, it's one of those questions that, and yeah, why does it start? Nobody knows. And she is now so, in her mid sixties. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she's battled it a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, she's she's starting to get yeah. It's, yeah. Well, the peer support you're offering yep, we're is going to, her to integrate her into the community yeah. to get support. Yep. The big thing is about reintegrating her back into the community so that she gets, um, you know, something that she said this week was really interesting. And, you know, she has people around the world are complaining about having to quarantine um, because of COVID. You know, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. COVID quarantine has been her life since she was 15 years of age. Yes. So she's lived in COVID quarantine basically for 50 years. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. so everyone thinks it's great that, you know, you can, all this stuff you can do online and things like that. But, you know, she said, I want to get out. I want people contact. And isn't it yeah. amazing because you met um, her... Oh, no, no, you didn't meet her. You met her support worker at the, at the, the um, Expo, Expo, the um, yes. Australian Communities Expo. We went to last week. So, I mean, this is part of what we are doing with Angela Kay and the brain injury community is one of the areas we're focusing on is peer support. Yes. And seeing how we can create a model for getting more peer support for more people. Because it is. Um, brain injury is one of the loneliest. Yeah. Um, injuries or disability mm -hmm. um and it you know i call it i say it i found it to be soul destroying yeah so unless you've got really good support around you yeah um it can break you and i mean i early on didn't have that support i had my kids and they were great um they really were they and the friends best you had some could. really good friends yep and, but I mean, like they, yeah. I only started leaning on my friends and evening, uh, even opening up to them. It wasn't until three years after my injury, it wasn't after a suicide attempt that I actually yes. even started opening up to them about what was really happening. Yes. Um, because, yeah, I look normal. And so if you're watching this and you've got a story to tell us about it or any yep. ideas on how we, you know, we cannot provide more peer support and even um, any situations where you've you've got a brain injury that maybe doesn't fit into the normal boxes of what you think a brain injury is so that's the reminder to take my medication yep that's part of it <laughs> so um, yeah please let us know and because um, obviously we're we're really wanting part of um, what the work we're doing is to help more people yeah, and just connect more people yeah and reduce the sense of isolation yep. felt by those Big time. whether yep. you live in the city or whether yep. you live out in the middle of nowhere yeah um you know yep. contact us and if you haven't already uh and you have a brain injury or you support or care for someone with a brain injury please check out um angela's facebook community group Yes, the brain uh, brain injury, the new me. Yeah. I will drop the link below. Yeah, it is an yeah. Australia. This is really important, actually. Yeah. It is an Australian-based support group. Yes. Yes, we do have members who live overseas. Yep. Yeah. Um, and you know, I'm not going to say no to anybody who's That's looking true. for help. Yeah. Um, but it is Australian-based, and we do talk about things that are affecting us within Australia you know the NDIS disability pension what kind of supports are out there all those kind of things so yeah um, contact us yeah we are here to help and serve absolutely and if you haven't already subscribe like share all the things excellent and uh, until the next time yep yeah. bye bye, bye.